beasts, ruler of the savannah. Lions are the ultimate killer carnivores, capable of killing prey three times their own size. Massive forearms, massive chest, jaws. The power that they have, it's incredible. The average lion weighs in around 400 pounds. Both lions and mountain lions sit at the top of the food chain. But as human populations increase, these cats are left with less space and less food. As a result, attacks on humans around the world are rising. Humans are just little pink balloons. We come apart very easy, and it's no match for the teeth and the claws of an apex predator. In Tanzania, Africa, man-eating lions have become a familiar problem. On average, over 40 people are attacked there every year. Many are fatal. Anyone that tells you they can defend themselves from a charging lion with a stick or by a parry or by shoving their fist down their throat really doesn't have a whole lot of experience with these big cats. Because I'm here to tell you, they'll flatten you like a pancake and swallow you whole before you can even think about what karate move you're going to put on. India, a country steeped in ancient culture and religion, which holds the tiger at its heart. Fiercely protected in the wild, it's India's national emblem. But in some parts of the country, their man-eating attacks are rising. In the last three years, we've seen almost 53 human deaths and probably twice as many attacks on humans. Since India is the second most populated country in the world, human-tiger conflict is almost inevitable. We've seen humans which have been uh, killed with uh, blood all over, the scalp pulled off, neck twisted at times because the tiger has dragged the human, the arms and the limbs have all been strewn away. So it's, it's not a very nice sight. It's basically these bodies are badly mutilated. Tigers are the largest of the big cats, three times the size of a leopard. Males can weigh 500 pounds, yet despite their bulk, they remain powerful, fast, and agile. Villages on the edges of some tiger reserves are becoming hotspots for terrifying tiger attacks. The conflict with tigers and humans suddenly rose in 2005. and In the last three and a half years, we've seen more than 53 human deaths by tigers. Around the world, leopards are suffering from habitat destruction and severe lack of prey. But they do possess one advantage that other big cats don't have, an incredible ability to live almost anywhere. Leopards are probably one of the more adaptable of the large cats. They survive in almost any habitat imaginable. So leopards are found in rainforests, they're found in deserts, they found oh, there's frozen remains of leopards near the top of Kilimanjaro, and there's oh, leopards are found on the outskirts of the Sahara. This adaptability can bring leopards face to face with humans, presenting a problem that's difficult to solve. Every now and again, habitual man-eaters do crop up, uh, when this happens, they can be devastating, probably more so than any other carnival. So when they do become a problem, it's a major problem. Leopards are strong, opportunistic hunters. Normally, they hunt small antelope and baboons. But sometimes, young leopards get it wrong. Leopard attacks in Africa are very rare. Elsewhere, the problem is different and growing. I think it's very difficult for humans and leopards to coexist, basically because of the sort of character the leopard is. The leopard is, of all the big cats, it's, it's, a, it's a very cunning, very curious, very tenacious animal. It doesn't seem to hesitate to come into, into human habitation, which the other big cats don't do. So um, I think, you know, the leopard's its, its own worst enemy in many ways.
In India, the people are witnessing more attacks than anywhere else. And they're not just happening in the wild. These days, leopards are strolling into towns and causing chaos. I'm just continually bowled over by the fact that a, that a leopard can, can, can sort of creep into a village. That sort of boldness you won't find in another big cat. Yeah! 